Hello there, adepts. Welcome back to another episode of Runestorm Citadel. We are in what is going to be my power lab, and I have just finished making a new redstone energy cell. All the machinery that I have force wrenched here, I am doing that because it keeps their energy inside them so I don't lose any megajoules. Let's see, this thing has still got plenty of biofuel. It's got some energy stored up. This thing is not producing anything because it doesn't have any way of producing anything right now. And let's go ahead and place this. And that drains pretty fast. So we get about 60 megajoules every second. That's pretty, pretty decent. I like that. And... The way I'm planning on doing this, we are going to have basically a plus sign pattern around each of these. And what's great about this is I can have another one of these biofuel generators off on each side of this, which allows me to get a pretty decent coverage of this entire area. Like, I can literally have this whole inner square filled with these generators and just producing more energy than I need. Of course, I need to be producing enough plant matter to power it all, which will require a pretty decent farm area, which, you know, not, not too difficult to do. I have plenty of space to work with. mainly with the front area, which is where I plan on having a bunch of fields anyway, so why not just turn the entire front area where the fields would have been into plants, into these little plant farms. And I've actually decided that we're not going to be working with potatoes right away. Yeah, potatoes are pretty easy to grow, pretty plentiful, but I do have all of these and cocoa beans do work. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and break out all these and destroy my floor. <laughs> and then we're going to tear down the logs and start setting up for... I wonder if it would be better if I just broke the log. I don't know how many I get from that, so... You know what? I'll try it on this one. Okay, actually I do get a decent amount. More than one, that's all that matters. Bit of a time saver. Okay. So we got plenty of jungle wood. Because we do have a tree out there still growing. And I tested this out and you need to have the logs, well, to get best coverage, going up too high. So one block, two block. And as a bonus, we don't need to have any irrigation whatsoever. So we can just cover this entire thing in. Of course, I recycle the fair amount of dirt, but I should stop some inside. There we go. Oh wait, I need to get my lumber axe. Let's see, is that my something chest? No. Actually, I do have a lumberjack axe in there. Let's try it out. There we go. I have too many different axes, I realize, but screw it. It works. It's going to be even nighttime soon, so better hurry up. Nope. rounding this out a bit as well. Because there's no reason for it to look dirty, even though it 
is nothing but dirt. Alright, let's get some sleep before the monsters come, because I don't feel like fending anything off right now. Sleep! Okie dokie. So, in order to make a cocoa plantation, we actually need to use lapis for our tubes, not tin or iron or anything like that. Yeah, kind of an odd thing to use, isn't it? But, whatever, it'll work. And we need to make one of these intricate circuit boards again, which I've forgotten how to make. I know it requires a carpenter. Intricate circuit board. Oh yeah, that's actually pretty easy. Gold and redstone. And a bit of water. So let's grab these. Oh, and I figured out that the thing that makes my inventory go all blacked out on blocks is because of these things. Yeah. Tricky little things. Okay, I think there's a spider in my castle again. Okay, okay. Um, need to take you over here. I happen to have buckets on me. What a pleasant turn of events. Uh, grab from the infinite source. Da, da, da. Okay. So, bucket of water. And, let's see... This pack has my red stone. No. There was one more pack over. No, oh, and it has gold too. And it's missing resources. What are you missing? Oh, the redstone. I'm a bloody fool. And you are not emitting energy. Okay, so that's going to be making, and I need to grab my thermionic fabricator, which is still inside. And there we go. So don't need you. You are going to come in handy later, just not right now. Oh, and... Lapis. And the Lapis Electron Tubes, just two redstone in, that's good. Okay, redstone, lapis lazuli. There. I also love how I can keep the molten glass inside of the thermionic fabricator, even though I'm not technically using it. And I need to figure out where I put my soldering iron. Oh, it's right there. That was actually easier than I expected. Okay, so I think I can do a managed farm with this. No, it has to be manual. That's right. And... Cocoa Plantation. And we just need to take care of setting up, which is the most annoying process you can do, but... I'm fine with that. I need to clear away all this peat. And I believe I will actually directly power this thing with the peat engine still. Well, maybe not quite directly. Uh, darn it, I need to place something back down. Uh, carpenter, you can go down.
because I need to get a force pack out that has next to nothing in it. Actually, this will work. And just some random junk in here. Nope, not the cocoa beans. I need those. Raw, eh, carrots, raw chicken seeds. Good enough. Right, I need an actual wrench to get that out. Uh, I'll take this thing too. Of course, this means I'm not going to be able to actually power my cobblestone generator. Hmm. Well, maybe I will just... No, no. Okay, it's either power it directly with the peat-fired engine or power this thing with the peat-fired engine and have this thing power the cocoa plantation. But I need more cobble. Screw it! We're just powering it directly. And I need that torch. Fortunately, I have plenty of feet left from originally. And now I just need to get the logs in place. You know, you know, I'm wasting feet. There. We'll get the logs in place first, fill this thing with cocoa beans to plant. Let's see, how do I want to set this up? How far do I have this going, anyway? This actually goes pretty far out. Hmm. I forgot the area that I've actually got covered here. So I'm going to have to actually break all the extra dirt. Because if I don't, I'm not going to know what I'm doing. But Axel, you never know what you're doing. Why am I punching with dirt? Okay, so this is the area, and I think this needs to be, like, here. Okay, I think it'll work like this. This won't be very efficient if I place this over here, but... Ah, trying to set this up is actually a little bit more challenging than I would have anticipated. You can go there. I'm trying to get as much coverage as I can, because the more coverage you have, the more cocoa beans are going to be growing. more cocoa beans are going to be growing, the better off you'll be, because you'll be able to keep more of those things powered. Why haven't you 
you dropped any saplings? Or did it drop saplings? I just missed all of them. I probably just missed all the saplings then. I'm gonna be a sad person. Because I don't think I have any more jungle tree saplings. But that should drop some. I just have to remember to actually check it out next time. main points here. That's kind of cool. Let's see how do I have it set up on the other side. I think like that. You can basically make this thing symmetrical and it should function almost perfectly. There you go, here. You don't exist there. Click that. I have no idea how I have this all set up on the other side. No saplings? Come on, you gotta have some saplings. Yeah. Whatever. Hey zombie, I'm gonna go to bed. If my game doesn't crash, or freeze up completely. <sighs> okay, so on this side, we have it like this. We have that matched on the other side. This is in the right place. That's good. That one's good. And we need one two over from this one. And you actually need to be bumped over one. This one goes there. And you need to be bumped over one. Okay, this is looking about right. And I think I had one right there. I think this is about as dense a coverage as I'm going to be able to squeeze out of this place. Oops. I don't see a single jungle sapling out of that tree. That sucks. Oh, I'm pretty sure I can transmute a new one with my my stone. Okay, then you need cocoa beans right here. Then all I should have to do is turn on the power and it should work. Hmm. 
Alright, it's planting. There we go, fully functioning cocoa plantation. Though not really any way of getting the cocoa beans from here to the power system yet. Okay, girlfriend's sending me random texts that are just kind of funny. Uh, no jungle saplings. Oh, I'll try to get a new one later. I could always run to the jungle and grab some, but it's a long ways away. So, did I even have enough cocoa beans to completely fill this thing, or was it not enough? No, it should be plenty. And even if I didn't, the cocoa beans will eventually grow and break, and it'll just plant some new ones out of those ones. If I don't have any left over to actually turn to biofuel, so... It's a little disappointing. I'm sure I don't have any at all. Oh, I do. I have some in plants. Amazing. Basically, we're going to need some sort of power system or pipe system to get the cocoa beans from here to over there. And that does make me believe that it might be time to actually look into getting some tesseracts made. Of course, that's going to require me to actually get enough endermen slain to get the ender pearls necessary for that. And, truth be told, I still don't like fighting Endermen. Although, with the Bane thing, it's not that big of a challenge, because they'll just be rendered unable to teleport. Actually, I should have taken that stake, too. There we go. So, what do you guys think of how this tower is coming along? I think it's coming along great. Of course, the actual bottom floor could use some walls, but it looks pretty nice in here at least, right? And let's see, I have this one right here, so I think I'll put the nether portal over here somewhere. Probably decorate it with some nether rag and nether soil as well to make it look more hellish. And I'm kind of debating on Miscraft Worlds. I do have a few pages collected, but... Oh, do I really want to go running around trying to find enough villages with... Eh, I don't know. Maybe I should just skip Miscraft altogether. Because, you know, Miscraft Worlds can be unstable and it's going to require me to actually have enough enough memory to have enough worlds to make a difference, but then again, what are the points of the world if I can get everything I need right here with just a little bit more effort? And yeah, with the miscraft worlds, you can get the You can get the glowing crystal stuff, and that's cool, but is it really necessary? Not entirely. See, this actually needs to get expanded some. I didn't really realize that until just now. But it needs to come out more. So it ends up like that. Let me go grab those stairs.
looks good enough to me. I can't really make it go around corners at all because, well, it's not designed to look like that, but I think the upside down stairs work pretty decently on this point. I like it. And I am getting really bad leg again. Out of nowhere. Where would the music starts playing too? That's kind of strange. Oh, I need to check my bees. I haven't done that yet today. I've been getting random cultured bees in the in the common bee reading area. So that's kind of kind of upsetting because I haven't got pure read common bees yet. And I'm already getting cultured bees. Which is bad because I need the pure breed common bee stockpile going. And I'll have to I'll unfortunately have to try to breed the culture out of the bees, which is kind of strange to say, but it's true. I have to breed them out. Hey, just harvested some cocoa. Hooray! Success! Well, let's see. We do have a stack left, so once this thing is actually completely full of cocoa beans, it'll be able to do automated stuff. Like, it'll put things in here instead of up in here. And then I can draw them out with pipes and tesseracts and whatever I want. Now, I kind of wonder if I should set up an AE system with wire that goes all the way out. Although, if I'm going to be putting a whole bunch of farms out there, it wouldn't make much sense since my stockpile, quote-unquote, will be somewhere in this area, in the walled-in area. And that'd be a lot of cable to run, which would require a lot of quartz. But then again, making all the item tesseracts would also require a lot of difficult-to-obtain material. <sighs> now, maybe I should go to the end. I don't know. And if I go to the end, I can make an ender farm and Possibly just a soul shard with enough Enderman souls to make a farm over here, but uh, I don't want to fight the dragon yet. It, it feels too early. You know what I mean? Let's see, when would be a good time for me to fight the dragon? I would say with at least my walls finished built, then I could fight the dragon. And I do have a ways to go on finishing my walls. So, most likely I'll have a power system up and running before I finish my walls, to be completely honest. Wow, we got a lot of power out of that. 256,000 power from just a small amount of saplings. That's a lot! I'm having one of those deja vu moments. There's no way I could have done this before, but... <laughs> I'm having the feeling that I've been here before, staring at this exact setup, talking about it, but I know I was staring at the last episode, but it didn't have this thing here, and I wasn't really staring at it like this before with the redstone in it. I was at this angle, not this angle. Oh, it's, it's such a strong sense of deja vu. I haven't done it before, but it feels like I have. And I don't really know how to explain that. Hmm, not nearly enough pipes. Do I have any ender pearls? No. I think I used them both on the router and that's all I had. 
And there's not really any other way of getting ender pearls. Well, actually, there is. <laughs> I just am not going to have this up in time for that. Oh, wait! Iron! Oh, I forgot about that! Block of solid ender. That's kind of weird. Okay, can can I or can I not turn things into molten in the liquid base and stuff? Because everything says blood, but it does have blocks you can make out of it. All right, I'm gonna look up the Let's see an item tesseract requires silver and tin, pneumatic servos, which are actually pretty easy to make. And I think we actually are going to be going a little bit long on this episode already, so I'm going to have to end it soon. Let's see. Oh yeah, we are definitely over time. So I'm going to end it here. Next episode we're going to actually make a few Tesseracts. Two, to be precise. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and fave. I will see you next time. Take care, and goodbye.